Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of the Wind Waker. And last time we made it through the butt of um, the Wind Temple, and we got to this puzzle, and now we are going to solve it. Alright, so what you have to do actually, and I should have showed most of this, but I got a little carried away and did most of this, but what you have to do first is block both of these traps with two of these blocks. And then what you need to do is grab my car with the iron boots and stick them over there <clears throat> in that little corner where I have them right now. You can't really see them, but you'll see them when I go and grab them. And then what you need to do is start pushing these blocks. You need to get one in the chasm, and then you also need to get one over the chasm, or a little foxhole, whatever you want to call it. And then you need to push one over that block to block the other trap, and things will work out. So, yeah, what I was doing was I was making it so that I would get hit by a couple of these traps, actually, if I tried to go across them with my car. But now, that won't be a problem because, you know, I looked at my guide and I was like, oh, okay. Really? Alright, so then we'll push this a little bit so it's out of our way. And then it's, we can just go almost clean straight through to where the boss is. So what we need to do is now that my car's in this little alcove, you need to pick him up and then carry him. And somehow Link is strong enough to hold my car against this current. Which makes kind of no sense to me, but whatever. So. And Take off the books, the boots now. Bring them down here. Throw them into the rock. <laughs> Which he doesn't get hurt like Medley does. But then we need to play the song again. The Wind God's Aria. Okay. I thought it was Aria or Lyric, but whatever. And then it'll open up the way to the boss. <clears throat> which Z boss is actually a pretty cool boss. I actually like this boss. And the music to it. Which is why I actually turned up my TV a little bit so I could hear it. Okay, so then we have the final pot. And a bunch of pots here. With some rupees. They're like, congratulations for completing this temple. Almost. Holy moly. Good thing I didn't pass up these pots. Fairies. I already have full fairies. And I think I even have some of Grandma's soup. Wait, I don't have full fairies. Not that I think I'll need one, but... Yeah. My ear itches. Ah, alright. Okay, uh... For this boss fight, we're gonna need the hook shot, and that's about all, actually. So, anyway, I will see you on the flip side, Makar. Hmm, doesn't seem like there's anything here. Okay. What? Oh, I, I, I just had to say something. Because now, this place is going to fill up with sand, and I'm going to drown in sand, or something's going to appear out the sand, and it's going to eat me. Oh, God. No, don't cover up that insignia. No. Jeez. Oh, my Lord! Jeez. This is be far, or by far, the biggest enemy we've faced in the game so far. In fact, all the enemies are really big. All the main bosses. Like, there's, uh, Goma, and Falagra, whatever it's called. And then, the one guy. Okay, anyway. So, this is Falagra. Or, <laughs> Yeah, this is Falagra. And this is Mulgra. The enemy, or the boss with the coolest music in this game by far. I have to say, 
I really like this music. In fact, I even used it like earlier in the LP when I was doing the uh, the uh, stuff with um, the Knight's Crest. Okay, so what you need to do is use the hook shot to pull his tongue close to you. No. And no, fudge. Oh god, he ate me. Oh no. I'm sorry, Link. But just be careful not to get sucked into his hole or to let him eat you, because that can be bad news. Okay. Try to get the thing on the thing, the thing. Oh, man. It's hard because these freaking little worm things keep getting in my way. But yeah, all you have to do is attack his, his tongue. It's not really that difficult. It's just trying to, you know, get it because you have all, the, all these creepy things. God, Jesus, Grandma. Alright, let's try this again. And if I have to kill these little bastards, I will. No, not again. Okay. No! Uh. It, it. For some reason, this game's not letting me lock on to what I want to lock on. It's like, nope! You gotta lock on to these little bastards. Okay. Oh, did he eat his own little guy? If so, that's kind of disgusting. If you ask me. Anyway, so Mulgera or Mulgar or Air. What was I trying to say? Um, but this guy is actually a boss in uh, a link to the past. He's one of the. Uh, the first three temple bosses. Pretty cool. So in a way, this is kind of a recycled boss. Ugh, I swear if I get eaten by him one more time. This freaking sand. These little bastards. I don't know. Wait, did I really just like run out of health there and have to use a fairy? Man, that's, that's a little embarrassing, I gotta say. But whatever. What can I expect when I get eaten that many times? But anyway, so... Yeah, just watch, watch the holes, try not to get eaten, eaten, attack his tongue, and occasionally he'll try to make a wormhole wherever you're standing, which really sucks. And also, sometimes he'll go up and fly around a little bit. You can actually... That was close. I think you can actually look up and see him. But just try to avoid that. And then, once he appears, get his tongue. Okay, no. No, don't aim it! Mm. Can I actually shoot arrows at his tongue? No. Okay, get away, yeah. No! Okay, if I can actually get those guys off the screen, I can actually aim at him. No. Okay. Alright. Alright, one more hit, and he will be dead. Hopefully. I know that's off sync and it would have been off sync uh, even if I was matched up with the music because I can't that fast. I wish I could. I'd be awesome. Alright, come on. Pop up. Come on. Daddy's got some snacks for ya. Okay. Yes. 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 Yeah! There we go. That's what I like to see. Death. Dude, it kind of looked like he ate us there for a second, but he didn't, because he don't have a tongue. Yeah. You swallow, you die. <laughs> Link had a surprised face when that heart fell. Yeah. So anyway, Mulgera is defeated. And the insignia is here once again.
Woohoo. Oh yeah. So now, let's grab us a heart. Doo doo. And that's the last heart container we get in the game. The rest is just going to be from heart pieces. Cool beans. Alright, so now that we defeated him, let's get power back to our, ma our master sword. And it's the last one we have to do. So, oh yeah. Okay, so, um, I mentioned before, like when I um, did the first part of this with Medley, that there's like a really... The transition from like when Link starts playing again is like really off because you know it just he goes like over and then he like cut yeah it's weird but whatever so anyway oh yeah Yeah, it's alive. Da, da. The Master Sword has returned. Its blade once houses the ability to power de, 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 stuff. Link, I have fully restored the power to repel evil to your Master Sword. And my ancestors are most satisfied. I shall continue praying to the gods here. Link, please step into the light and return above ground. May the winds of fortune be at your back. Okay, if you say so. Wait, why do people talk about the winds the winds of fortune all the time? It's crazy. I see. So the Forsaken Fortress has already Ah, like a melting snake that casts off its dead skin. A place is so empty and quiet. Well, uh, one can almost hear the echo of dead leaves falling to the cold, cracked ground. Wait, there's trees on that island? Why, what ails you? What? Lose, lose the long face. The monsters are gone from the world. Does that make you a little happy? Kind of. But at the same time, that worries me. Link, I have troubling news. Ganon has not showed himself above the sea since Valu unleashed his fiery wrath upon him. And what's worse... There is not a creature stirring in the horizon in his base of operations in this world, the Forsaken Fortress. I cannot imagine how it is possible, and yet I cannot shake this foreboding feeling I have about the horizon. Link, you must search for all the horizon so that we can head back to horizon without horizon. Okay, uh, that's annoying. Anyway. Okay, don't yawn. We have a job to do, and you're yawning. Whoa, and they're trying to bomb us. Anyway, guys. Uh, that's it for this dungeon. And now, all we have to do is begin the final collection run. And then the final little stuff we have to do for the story. And then we go to the final area. It's getting exciting. Alright, well, anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. And next time on Let's Play Legends of Wind Waker... We will begin the next big collection run. So see you guys next time. Bye.